Welcome back to Screen Lab. And thanks for stopping by. We will give you the top 10 comedy movies in the century. Prepare yourself because this list will be hilarious. <gasps> Idiot! Kicking off this list is The Hangover. <laughs> so cool if I could breastfeed, you know? The plot of the story was simple. Friends who went to Vegas for their buddy's bachelor party who encountered a series of misadventures. Hey, what the hell, man? But the execution and the acting, including the physical comedy in this film, were superb. Ah! <laughs> Reasons why it is one of the best comedy films of the century. That is cool. The Hangover is full of surprises. You ever know how three dudes with very different personalities will solve their problem and how the movie will actually end? The film was starred by established comedy actors Ed Helms and Zach Galifianakis and Bradley Cooper whose career accelerated after the success of what would eventually become a trilogy. Okay. Spoiler alert! You have the choice to skip the two because they do not keep up with the original. So long, gay boy. Next on our list is The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Oh, me so horny! Me love you long time! The Office began airing a few months before this romantic comedy film was released. Wow. Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Seriously? But Steve Carell's portrayal of Andy, a man who attempts to lose his virginity at 40, paved his way into stardom. This is not a good look for me! He was awkward yet adorable all throughout the film. Meanwhile, this was also the directorial debut for Jude Apatow. Thank you very much. Master of comedy films and fans consider The 40-Year-Old Virgin as one of his best. How does that happen? Carell is joined by his equally funny co-stars that made each and every scene hilarious. No, Kelly Clarkson! The dialogues are distinct and funny. And you are Gina? Gina. Hey, what's up? But despite the awkward moments, this film still has something to warm our hearts. What? You never told me that before. Making the 40-year-old virgin exceed the viewer's expectations of lowbrow and stereotypical comedy flick. You're a virgin! I am... Shut up! Snatching the 8th spot is a film that has been the bible of millennials. Mean Girls. Ex-boyfriends are just off-limits to friends. I mean, that's just like the rules of feminism. The story follows 15-year-old Caddy who will experience high school in suburban Chicago for the first time after years of being homeschooled. So you've actually never been to a real school before? Tina Fey discussed high school girl politics Welcome! in a non-confrontational way in this satire comedy film that was inspired by Rosalind Wiseman's best-seller teen help book. Got to stop calling each other sluts and whores! Just... To say that the film has a cult following is an understatement. Yeah, sure. After more than a decade and a half, Mean Girls is still one of the films that still resurface in today's culture. Just check out all the memes made out of it. And if you've seen this film, you will never hear Jingle Bell Rock the same as its original version ever again. Jingle Bell Rock! With its iconic scenes and unforgettable characters, Mean Girls is definitely one of the best and most successful comedy movies. Well, if you disagree, you can't sit with us. Number 7. Zoolander. <laughs> Who will miss out on this one? The real plot is about the planned assassination, but forget about that, because the film will center on Ben Stiller's character, Who am I? Derek Zoolander, a vain and uninteresting male model. Stiller is joined by Owen Wilson, who plays as his antagonist. Don't you know I'm local? And Will Ferrell as the stereotypical designer Mogatu. It's beautiful. This parody on the fashion industry received mixed reactions from viewers and critics. The essence of beauty. But nevertheless, it was a box office success. In 2016, sequel Zoolander 2 was released. Where's my goddamn latte? Just like most of the sequels in film history, it did not meet the success of the original. Who's winning the match? Number 6. Bridesmaids. <laughs> so cute! <laughs> did you come from work? Attempts at adapting the ever-popular cross-out lad comedy genre with an all-female primary cast have been a disgrace until 
bridesmaids came. So awesome! This film is the brainchild of a former SNL cast, Kristen Wiig, who also plays Annie. Party! Oh yeah. A single woman in her mid-30s who takes on the role of the maid of honor to her last unmarried friend's wedding. <laughs> Sorry, is this your husband? No, no. Surprisingly, this film was a hit, making it one of the most successful box office film Jude Apatow ever made. This instant classic also reignited the comedy career of Melissa McCarthy. I'm glad he's single because I'm going to climb that like a tree. Bridesmaid was a delight to watch. It has good humor with a wholly believable often a very touching, emotional core effortlessly blended to create one of the finest comedy performances in the century. Everybody go back to your seats. Okay. If you are feeling down today, keep this list and have a movie marathon after you watch this video. Stay tuned because the best teen comedy duo is just right around the corner. Hit that shit. Who would have thought that these two will team up in a comedy action film? What up, What's up? Up? <laughs> Setting at number 5, 21 Jump Street. Just like any buddy cop action comedies, this film was such an entertainment. Hey, don't make me take you to the principal's office. Directors Phil Lord and Christopher Miller gave the late 80s television series their fair share after they decided to create this film adaptation. That's funny because we were actually Jump Street. What? The unusual pairing of Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum gave the audience a good laugh no, keep it going. while they went undercover to infiltrate and bust a high school drug ring. Hey, you guys aren't narcs, are you? Whoa! <laughs> the reasonable action scenes like the limo chase and several gunfights are just enough to keep the comedic element of the film. You killed a guy! 21 Jump Street was a huge success, giving way to a sequel, 22 Jump Street, which is equally funny action-packed, and heartwarming. We Jump Street, and we're about to jump in your ass. Mm -hmm. Next on our list is Superbad. What name? What name? Who are you, Seal? This film starring Joni Hill and Michael Cera was based on a real-life high school experiences from the film writers Seth Rogen and even Goldberg. So this isn't terrible. The two began working on the script when they were both 13 years old and they completed a draft by the time they were 15. I gotta catch a glimpse of these warlocks. This iconic film is about two dorky teens who want to lose their virginity before graduation, but with great minds behind plus the impressive comedy acting from the lead duo, Superbad was more than that and it was hailed as one of the best and most successful teen comedy films of all time. Bye, take care of those. If you think these comedy films are funny, wait and see our next titles on this list. It will definitely get you rolling on the floor laughing. Oh, thank God for that. Time to meet the English squad that made a horror movie laughable. What, 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 what? Number three. Shaun of the Dead. So, what's the plan? Right. Director Edgar Wright managed to make the typical horror zombie film into a comedy flick. <sighs> Shaun of the Dead is an unconventional mixture of comedy, romance, action, and of course, zombies. <laughs> but it worked very well. Okay, let's go. Critics say the film was a success because apart from the exhibition of technical expertise and great performances from the cast, Wright paid his respect to the living dead by making a comedy film about them. How's that for a slice of fried gold? Well, having a zombie apocalypse in your backyard is still a scary idea, but when the crew fought by hitting zombies with various weapons, including a cricket bat, while Queen's Don't Stop Me Now is playing at the back, that's something anyone will laugh about. Queen, what's with the jukebox? Shaun of the Dead was Wright's attempt for a silver screen adaptation of his equally excellent TV show, Spaced. This film was the first installment of a series of British comedy films, aka Three Flavors Cornetto Trilogy. What's this? <laughs> Landing on number two, 
is a surprisingly influential and a huge part of today's pop culture. Napoleon Dynamite. Peace out. See ya. For a film with just under a half a million budget and a $1,000 initial talent fee for the lead actor, this was a huge success. So why don't you get out there and feed team? Why don't you go eat a decroated piece of crap? After it took more than $43 million at the US box office. Do you think anybody thinks I'm a failure because I go home to Starlight at night? This quirky film focuses on the life and misadventures of Napoleon, an unattractive, awkward, out of sync teenage boy that does himself no favors, which were already hilarious. The food. The food. Just by the thoughts of it, he wears moon boots and bad t shirts, which later on become iconic. Napoleon Dynamite was such a hit in 2004, making everyone want to have their own Vote for Pedro shirt. Budding filmmaker Jared Hess definitely created an original and a very silly film, beating on sight gags and slapstick, plus some scenes that hit the viewers' hearts. I did some drawings for the flyers. Thanks. Generally, school embarrassments and teenage life were a mixture of shame and horror, but will always be a source of a good laugh. Since when, Kip, you have the worst reflexes of all time. Here are other great comedy films that just did not make the cut. That's so funny, the last time I heard that, I laughed so hard I fell off my dinosaur. We are not ending this night without White Castle in our stomachs, agreed? Agreed. I like sex, it's nice. Topping the list of comedy movies in this century is Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, San Diego. The film is a playful take on the culture of the 1970s action news format, mixed with a humor during the period of familiar stereotypes. You've got a dirty, whorish mouth, that's what you have. <laughs> including the banter of guilt free sexist gags. Oh. That's the smell of desire, my lady. It follows the life of Ron Burgundy, played by Will Ferrell, a San Diego TV station news anchor who clashes with his new female counterpart. And thanks for stopping by. But mainly, stay classy. Anchorman is one of those few comedy films that never gets old and will always feel like the first time. Who's that handsome devil? Anchorman is full of quotable one-liners that we don't even notice we use in our daily lives. That's how I roll. This film can be compared to a sitcom, propelled by its not so clever humor from silly erection jokes. Let me just grab this. Oh, sorry about that. To hilariously sexist exchanges. Oh, and you are gonna deprive them of that because I have breasts? Despite the immaturity exhibited by the characters in this film, it is undoubtedly funny. Maybe don't wear a bra next time. Can we just say this particular boys club isn't facing extinction just yet. Boy, that escalated quickly. Which of these films is your personal favorite? Comment them below. If you enjoy this video, you might also enjoy our video of top eight free movie on YouTube. Subscribe to Screen Lab and click the notification button for all the latest, craziest, and the trendiest updates on your favorite films and TV shows. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.